Hey there guys, I'm here to give my The Gathering Rumble at the Hilton predictions. The show will be Saturday night, August the 5th at Hilton University Place in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you're in the Charlotte area, anywhere around, I'm coming all the way from Greenville, South Carolina to be here. So this is going to be great. Go to www.tmartpromotions.com as it says down there below this picture that is on your screen to go check out information about the entire weekend event. There will be stars there such as Kurt Angle and others. And I'm going to get into some of the talent that's wrestling at this event. I've been to every single gathering since Gathering 1 and have enjoyed every single one of them. So let's get into my Rumble at the Hilton predictions. The first match I'm going to give my prediction of is Brock Anderson accompanied by his dad Arn Anderson versus Jaron Fulton accompanied by his dad Bobby Fulton. This match is brought to us by Big Time Collectibles. They're calling this the battle for the next generation. I've seen Brock Anderson in the ring before, but I've never seen Jaron Fulton wrestle, so I'm super excited to see him in the ring. Obviously, both of their dads are very legendary, but I believe Brock Anderson easily has the upper hand and will end up winning this match. For the next match, we're going to go back to the ECW days. We're going to have Tommy Dreamer versus C.W. Anderson. I'm super excited for this match, considering I love ECW and I like going back and watching all of the matches and different shows, just going to a random show on Peacock. And watching it. And from all those matches I've watched, Tommy Dreamer has to be one of my favorites behind Sabu and Rhino. So I'm going to have to take Tommy Dreamer on this one. And I've seen C.W. Anderson wrestle many times live. And I've seen him from the ECW days. And both are very talented. But I'm going to take Tommy Dreamer on this one. Next we're going to get into the only women's match on the card. This is Savannah Evans versus Samantha Starr. Both of these women are very talented. I've seen both live before. I've seen both these women play heel, but I'm thinking Savannah Evans might be the face, but I'm not sure. I've seen Savannah multiple times. I've only seen Samantha Starr once. Savannah Evans is extremely talented. She's spent some time in Impact. While I don't think Samantha Starr has had any big contracts, she's a great heel. She flicks off the crowd. She yells at me when I was in the crowd screaming at her, booing her and crap. And so, yeah, she's a good heel. So I'm very excited for this match. And I'm going to take Samantha Starr. Even though Savannah Evans is a bigger name. Also forgot to say, Samantha Starr is the daughter of Baby Doll. Alright, now we got another Son of a Legend versus Son of a Legend match. This is Kerry Morton versus Brian Pillman Jr. Both of their dads are extremely legendary. With Kerry Morton's dad obviously being Ricky Morton and Brian Pillman Jr.'s dad obviously being Brian Pillman. I'm a huge fan of Kerry Morton. I've seen him live multiple times. I've seen matches of him on NWA. So, yeah, he's great. And obviously we all know about Brian Pillman Jr. on AEW. Spent a lot of time on AEW Dark. Didn't really get to shine in AEW. But he's with WWE now. Let's see what he can do there. But first we're going to see what he does at the gathering. I'd say I'm probably more excited for this match than I am any match on the card. This is a must-see. And this is one of those, you can flip a coin, you might be right. I'm not sure, but I went with Kerry Morton. But I don't know. All I know is this is going to be an amazing match. Well, while we're talking about Kerry Morton, let's go talk about his dad, Ricky Morton, and Ricky Morton's partner, Robert Gibson, the Rock and Roll Express versus the Headbangers. And I think this is going to be a banger. Right, you see what I did there? But back to the match. Obviously, these are two tag teams that everybody loves. Rock and Roll Express being a very legendary tag team. And I got the Rock and Roll Express winning this match. I don't think I've ever seen the Headbangers wrestle live, so I'm super excited to see them. But I've seen the Rock and Roll Express wrestle live, and I've loved it every single time. And I want to see more and more before they go and retire. Next up, we're going to get to probably going to be the main event. We got the 18-man Royal Rumble style match. This match is going to be for Nate the Great's Team Art title. And I hate to say it, but I don't think Nate's going to keep the title. And I think the person that's going to win this match is going to be someone that's consistently there at the gathering every year. So they can defend it next year. And someone that is consistent to almost every show like this in the Carolinas is George South. And we all know how good the legend George South is. So that's why I'm taking George South to win this match. I was kind of down between George and Carrie, but I do think George is going to get the win. Obviously, I'm super excited for this match. 
and there's only six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people on the screen. So that means there's a few mystery people in here that we don't know about. So that'll be a big surprise. And I'm sure one of those surprises is going to end up being a legend. And that's always fun. I mean, the Royal Rumble matches, any Royal Rumble match is always fun. So then you sprinkle in some legends. Then it's just amazing. So obviously I'm super excited to see who this Team Art title goes home with. But yeah, go to www.tmartpromotions.com to get some more information about the show. You don't want to miss it. And I'm going to be back with my review and ratings of the show. I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope to see you at the gathering.